What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Dimensions tutorial video. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to find the Palace of Versailles from the Girl in the Fireplace episode of Doctor Who which of course featured this guy right here, the 10th Doctor. Look at him just walking around with his hands in his pockets and everything. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is going to smash some things. Um, I recommend doing a few of the smashing and stuff uh, before the weeping angels start you know coming after you because it's just easier to save time now we're gonna need a bit of help from some friends so we're gonna bring in Gandalf right here and Gandalf's going to pull the stairs down like this uh, and then what we're gonna do is gonna go over here and you're gonna want to smash these two things right here like that and we're gonna push this over here. Now you're going to think, why are you going to push that over there? Well, basically, there's going to be a Weeping Angel statue, and it's going to block our path. And it's just going to save time if we push it there, so we can just push it into that gap on the left. So now we've got a Batarang symbol. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Batman. I figured I would show you how to do all of this just in case it's a bit complicated, because basically you just need to go over there and do something. But I figured, you know, some people might be like, well, how do I do it? So I figured I would just show all of it instead. And it's a very, very cool easter egg, so it's worth waiting for, for sure. Alright, so we're also going to need the Batmobile, obviously, down there. So, where's the Batmobile? So we're going to build this. Really quickly. This might look simple, but I've always got to be ready. And then we're going to use the Batmobile. Like this. I'm going to drive onto the pad. And we're just going to rev the engine. You know, it's just basically the same thing you did in the mission, but just an added extra to it that you'll see soon. Alright, so now the Weeping Angels are after us. I'm going to switch to the guy that actually knows about Weeping Angels, which is, of course, the Doctor, the 10th Doctor. And we're going to run up here. And we're going to gonna save time by hopping over there. And we're going to push this Weeping Angel statue right over here into this gap. Like this. There we are. Sometimes that gets stuck, so just be careful. If they come for you, you just got to take them off the toy pad. It's pretty easy. I don't think we need the Batmobile now, so we can take that off there. And then we're just going to push this all the way along. Yeah, they're getting closer. <laughs> Ooh. All the way along. Uh, that one's blocking my path. Do you mind? Ah, see, there you go. They got me that time. They got me that time. And then we're going to push this along. We're trying to, at least. It keeps getting stuck in a gap. One more push. One more push. Okay. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to push it, but it's not working. Okay, hang on. If I push it back, I'm supposed to be the one doing the tutorial here, and I need help. <laughs> Why is it not working? Okay, hang on. Yeah, yeah, I see you. I see you, Weeping Angels, I see you. Okay. It's annoying because the Weeping Angels keep getting me. And they're blocking my path again as well. Great. Why won't this move? Thank you! Right, now we can do it. Alright, sorry guys, I don't know why that took so long. Uh, it just kept hitting the gap. But anyway, what you do now is you've got to come up here. And you'll see something happens. The generator turns on. And then this machine will pull out uh, one of the keystones. But we don't need to bother with any of the keystone nonsense. We don't need to do any of that. What we need to do is fix something. Pretty simple. What the doctor does, he fixes things. <laughs> Occasionally. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to hold circle. And he's going to fix this machine. And if you watch... And I got attacked by another Weeping Angel, but if you watch here, you can see there's the Pandorica, which is pretty cool. And so, I don't know what happened there. And so what we do now is all we got to do is use Gandalf again. So we're going to bring Gandalf in one more time. And he's going to basically pick the Pandorica up and open it. And check this out, it opens up and then it tips out all these bricks. And then you got to use Gandalf 
uh, to use his magic to build this platform for the TARDIS. Now this is where the fun begins. So that is how you get the TARDIS pad. And then we're going to actually use the TARDIS. Okay. Wait a second. There we are. And here we go. So we're going to the Palace of Versailles. Now obviously if you know from this episode of Doctor Who you'll know there's a little bit of a twist. Um, so yes, this is the ship from um, the area that you, you know you see in this episode. Um, and you're probably thinking, right, well where's the Palace of Versailles? Well, I'll show you. You go down here, like this. We're going to need Batman, Gandalf and Wild Style's help with this. So what you want to do here is you want to smash these with your sonic screwdriver. Just use and smash the glass. Then we're going to build this, like that. I'm going to push this along. And then I think that turns off the smoke. Yep, it does. Okay, so that's turned off the smoke. So then we're going to need Wild Style. So we're going to use Wild Style here. I'm Wild Style. And then and I'm not you're going to want to press Circle next to all the pink areas. And there's quite a few of the pink areas. There's one over here as well. I think there's one more as well, but I could be wrong. Let me check. Um... No, actually, I think that might be it. Okay, so then we don't really need Wild Style for now, so we're just going to put Batman later. on. And Batman is going to, as you can see there, there's a fireplace. We're going to throw the Batarang into that, like that. Got it. Now to get. And here you'll see a little Easter egg from the episode. There's the horse that the 10th Doctor rode, which is pretty cool. And there's also a mini kit on top of it, but I think because I've collected the mini kit, it shouldn't. Yeah, it should just disappear. There you go. So it just becomes a stud. But there you go. There's another mini kit for you to find. And I think there's actually two mini kits in this mission. Three mini kits, sorry, in this mission alone. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go into the fireplace. Like that. And there you go. This is it. This is the area from the girl in the fireplace, the Palace of Versailles. This is the area right here, which is pretty cool. And there's quite a bit to do in here as well, so I'm going to show you what to do. So, go around the back of here, and there's some studs for you to collect. And there's some, there's some purple ones as well, so you're going to want to collect them, because you get a lot of studs from collecting the purple ones. Now we're going to need some help from my good friend Cyborg. Tenth Doctor and Cyborg team up, never thought I'd see that. <laughs> so, basically what you want to do is burn all the gold. Cyborg along! So we're gonna burn all the gold things. So here's some gold. Oh, I've got this. Well, I think I've got this. Here's another one. Like that. And then we're gonna burn this one. Booyah! And then I think we should be able to build something now. But we don't build it yet, not yet. We're gonna need the help of Gandalf now. Tagging out. Gotta recharge my batteries. So where's Gandalf? There he is. Alright, cool. Yeah, so this easter egg is amazing. Like, I was blown away when I found this the first time. And as you can see here, what's that? <gasps> it's a clockwork droid. That's work. That's right, clockwork droids are in the game. They're in side quests as well in the adventure world, which is pretty cool. But I think it's even cooler to see them um, in the actual, you know, Doctor Who. In, in, in a Doctor Who area that they actually appeared in. I mean, that's just awesome. And then, of course, now what we're going to do, I'm just going to quickly hit this because you get a lot of studs from it. Let's see if I'm lucky. Ah, oh, silver. Well done. Never mind. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I've got quite a lot of studs anyway, so it's no big deal. So you'll see the clockwork droids, they do actually chase you, which I love. But there's more to it than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to need Batman again. That's right. It's I'm going to quickly open this up like so. Come on, Batman, before it hits you. So that's two, that's two clockwork droids. I think if I remember correctly, there's actually three. So if we walk around here, we should be able to find the third one. I think he's behind here actually. Oh, look at all the bananas. I wonder if that's a reference to the ninth doctor. Um, I think that was bananas. It was gold and bananas, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, where's the last one? There's one more. Um, there's one more clockwork droid somewhere. 
That's building the piano, so I don't think we need to do that just yet. Maybe it's here. Oh, right, yeah, so you got to jump on the bed to make the last clockwork joy. Okay, I, I make sense. And there you go, there's the last one. Now they will keep chasing you and keep trying to attack you until you do this. And this is a pretty cool part of this easter egg. So you go over here and there's a piano you have to build. And now what we're going to do is we're going to need Gandalf once more. Need a little assistance from Gandalf. Use his magic. And then if you watch carefully, you'll see what happens. So the cockwork droids just start dancing. Yeah, they just they just start dancing and they don't stop either. You can just keep watching them dance for as long as you want. And you can't attack them either, from what I remember. And you can't even stun them. See? They just they just sit there dancing all the time. So yeah, guys, that is how to get into the Palace of Vesalis in LEGO Dimensions. It's a pretty cool Easter egg. I mean, I was really shocked when I found this, and I think it's an awesome area to run around with. Of course, I'm the 10th Doctor right now because I wanted to do, you know, I wanted to do it right. I wanted to be fitting to the episode, um, The Girl in the Fireplace. But no, you can play as any Doctor you want, and it's a very cool, Easter, uh, you know, area to run around in. And you can, of course, go back if you want to. You can go back and run around this area. It's just awesome. I just love how much attention to detail they put into this one thing. I mean, I really wasn't expecting this much attention to detail. So I'm going to go back in for a second. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I personally did. I think it's an amazing Easter egg, and I hope you enjoy playing around in it. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.